Hello everybody, this is Rich Cispidus Medicat Sphere, and I'm here with a tutorial to teach you guys how to roll a can with psychinesis. Now, um, I'm going to teach you guys some techniques that have worked for me very, very well. I'm going to utilize some techniques uh, that I've developed by uh, learning uh, to work with um, some aerokinesis, and I recommend you guys working with aerokinesis and developing your aerokinesis abilities, working outside with uh, pinwheels and uh, bushes and trees. And I'm going to utilize some uh, techniques that will allow you to manifest um, aerokinesis uh, simulation on an object like a can and make it roll here. This will teach you how to uh, manifest aerokinesis indoors with no air flowing around from all your imagination. This with um, airflow, you might want to practice being outside like I said, uh, learning how it is to, uh, to work with pinwheels outside, feeling the ambient energy around you, flowing around you, letting yourself become familiarized with it. And so um, if you decide to roll a can what you want, or, or any cylinder type of object, what you want to do is that um, you want to visualize the air flowing around you by gaining the experience by working with air outside and everything like that. Become very familiarized with it and, and, and imagine it flowing not only um, around you and on your skin, but also inside of you, um, swirling and softly blowing on your skin and everything like that inside. Um, when you start to uh, visualize it and you start to when you start to recognize this subtle flow of energy around you, it's going to be very soft. You have to pay attention. That's why you have to utilize a lot of techniques of relaxing and a little bit of meditation, all those things. Take your time. When you start to realize these sensations around you, and you start to feel it around you. You know, try to visualize this air, this invisible force pushing on the can softly. All right, don't force it. Softly pushing on the can. Calmly and steadily focus your intention on this energy, this ambient energy, this air pushing on the can. Don't force it, just focus your intention that you want the can to be manipulated by this force, this air push. Try to think of the can as, uh, as light as a plastic bag flowing in the, in the wind or as light as a feather and that you're creating the air to affect the object. Now this is some more advice that will help out even more. Now we're gonna be combining two techniques here. Not only are you gonna be visualizing the air blowing on the can to make it roll, but you want to, at the same time, put the object on a nice even table. Um, put the object on this nice even flat table, and what you wanna do is that you have to, again, work with uh, the emotion, your intention, and um, your imagination, and pretend that the table is slightly slanted and tilted and you want to visualize the air pushing on the can and that any moment because the table is slanted and tilted the can is gonna roll because what that does is that you're sending um, this emotional the cultivated energy this it becomes more strengthened and you're sending this energy this imagination this emotional imagination to the can to make it roll and, and believe me this technique works because that's how I got my can to roll the very first time um, on the second clip that you saw that's my first time that I rolled my cans and I, I combined two techniques and that worked so you want to pretend that the flat surface table is tilted or slanted and you want to visualize the air pushing on it at the same time and you'll get results it will take time but you have to uh, be patient Believe that the can is going to roll at any second. Anticipation. You know, be involved. Be in your zone. Just believe and have belief. And have no interruptions, no doubts, no judgments. Just like my other tutorials, don't have any of those things. And just practice with working with air kinesis outside. These techniques work. They always work for me. They will work for you. But it will take time and patience. Make sure to have a lot, a full day with no interruptions, at least to practice to get used to this. Now before I end this, I want to also add that this is another possibility of uh, another technique that I believe it will work to slide cups and cans, upright cups and cans. And um, by utilizing this technique and by combining two things and all these two techniques I told you, um, it will work. And, and it can work with side wheels and everything else, but side wheels are a little bit more simpler and they don't re require so much um, um, intricacy. The can's a little bit bigger, so that's why I created this uh, technique. 